I just uh, thought I'd take a minute to talk about the use of anticholinergics in psychiatry. Uh, anticholinergics uh, are medications like cogentin, artane, um, biperidin, but nobody uses that. Any. Uh, I've never seen it used. But these are anticholinergic agents that are used in psychiatry to primarily treat uh, uh, side effects of antipsychotics. These would be, you know, things like Haldol, Prolixin, and uh, higher doses of Risperdal. So they can cause uh, what's called a Parkinsonian side effect, which would be they may have a little shaking, um, you know, the gait may shuffle, you know, they may not uh, take a full stride, they may shuffle, they may be hunched over, they, when they move they may be cogwheeling. I mean, if it gets to that point, it means that uh, the person is really sensitive and yet has not, and his side effects have not been uh, adequately addressed yet. So this is where the anticholinergics come in when the antipsychotics are causing these side effects of uh, tremulousness, uh, uh, shuffling gait, stiffness. The anticholinergics uh, can relieve that. So the usual dose for uh, cogentin is like one milligram two to three times a day. The younger patients tolerate it, tolerate it better and they're the ones that need it also more than more often than the others. Um, when you use strong potent antipsychotics like Haldol and Prolixin above 5 milligrams especially 10, 15, you need to give them on you need to put them on cogentin along with it in order to prevent uh, the side effects I just mentioned. There's a particular side effect called acute dystonia which can be very uh, distressful and uh, uncomfortable. This is where the person basically gets into a spasm of the neck or uh, other body parts and they are not able to get relief and they feel like stuck or immobilized. And uh, for that uh, emergency use of cogentin 2 milligrams IM along with perhaps uh, Ativan 1 milligram IM or PO for that matter, uh, are needed. The IM works quickly within 20 minutes. Uh, <clears throat> and um, the condition can be relieved. Uh, prescribing the anticholinergics to younger patients who are on a relatively high dose of an antipsychotic also prevents these uh, side effects and prevents them from getting uh, uh, anxious about their medications because if they're afraid of the medication side effects they're not going to take it and uh, you'll have the hardest time um, getting them to um, improve if they're not going to be on their medication um, because they got uh, frightened by the side effects so in that sense it's important and prudent practice to prescribe these men antipsychotics are prescribed. Uh, there are a few caveats with this. Um, if somebody has narrow angle glaucoma, you don't want to prescribe anticholinergics. Um, narrow angle glaucoma is basically narrowing of the space between uh, the anterior chamber of the eye. And um, when the pupil dilates with the anticholinergics, the ciliary muscle crowds the corner of the eye, prevents further drainage, and it can cause an increase in the uh, intraocular or eyeball blood pressure. And that increased pressure can precipitate acute glaucoma, which is painful, and uh, you'll have that dusky red eye. As a ophthalmological, ophthalmological emergency, so you want to avoid that. You want to check for. Um, narrow angle glaucoma. In older men, uh, the anticholinergics can cause uh, urinary retention. It's harder for the men to avoid. <clears throat> of course, the side effects of dry mouth, uh, usually not troublesome, but it's present and it's good for them to be aware that it's going to 
it's one of the normal uh, side effects. Constipation can be another side effect of anticholinergics. Uh, the anticholinergic are ten tends to be a little activating and um, some people have been known to abuse it. Uh, it increases dopamine, uh, it causes a reuptake inhibition I, and, uh, and by that method it may be having some effect. In a, uh, it may actually be useful in some antidepressant role if a schizophrenic patient is particularly depressed, Artane may be uh, reasonable. Uh, for preventing EPS and possibly helping with the mood. I've used it once or twice and uh, the patients did not abuse it and it did seem to help them. Um, that's about it for anticholinergics. You have to be careful with the elderly um, because they can, if they have other medications that are also anticholinergic, the additive effect can make them uh, cause them problems. They can even get delirious. And uh, usually um, the treatment for that is to, you know, take them off the anticholinergics. Physostigmine can be used to, to reverse the acute delirious episode, but uh, usually uh, less uh, intensive measures, conservative measures are fine, they usually work okay. So anyway, uh, that is a little bit about anticholinergics. Take care. Okay, bye.